That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not, we're not there yet. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Spider-Man MCU moments. Copy that. Target is Brad Davis. Initiating strike. Initiating what now? For this list, we're looking at the MCU's Peter Parker and his most awesome, most emotional, and most web-tastic scenes. And of course, if you're not caught up yet, consider this your spoiler alert. Before we get started, leave us a comment telling us which Spider-Man suit is your all-time favorite. Number 10. Defeating Mysterio – Spider-Man Far From Home In any movie, the moment where the hero finally defeats the villain is always so great, but there's just something about the way Marvel movies do it. This scene in particular is a perfect example of this. Throughout the entire movie, Spider-Man has been lied to, exploited, and tormented by Mysterio. You lied to me. I trusted you. I know. That's the most disappointing part. Peter has now managed to see through Beck's little nightmare illusions, and things look like they're finally coming to a close. Except Spider-Man senses something we can't, and it literally saves his life. You do deserve that. Not only does it look cool visually, but both Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal deliver stunning emotional performances. Peter, in this scene alone, seems to gain the wisdom needed to eventually take up Tony's mantle. How could you do all of this? You'll see, Peter. People need to believe. And nowadays, they don't believe anything. They grow up so fast. Number 9. Staying the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man – Spider-Man Homecoming Peter spent the whole movie wanting to be more than just the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but when Tony actually gives him the opportunity at the end of the movie, Peter rejects it in favor of sticking around for the little guy. Thank you, Mr. Stark. But I'm, I'm good. You're good? Good? How are you good? Lesson learned or something like that, right? That's what they were going for? Now, nah, we're just kidding. It was actually pretty mature of Peter to decide that he wasn't ready to be an Avenger, especially with that new Iron Spider suit. When you're ready, why don't you try that on? And I'll introduce the world to the newest official member of the Avengers, Spider-Man. That was sweet. Even so, we wouldn't have to wait very long for his official recruitment, but it's the intention that counts. That was a test, right? There's uh, nobody back there? Yes, you passed. All right, skedaddle there. Thank you, Young Mr. Stark. Buck. Thank you. Number 8. Officially Becoming an Avenger – Avengers Infinity War We told you the wait wouldn't be long. Peter's Avenger status is still pending by the time Thanos starts poking around on Earth for the Infinity Stones, but things move pretty quickly after that. Peter helps Tony and Doctor Strange in their fight, which eventually leads him hurtling into space, hanging from the side of the Q-ship. Mr. Stark, it smells like a new car in here! Happy trails, kid. Friday, send him home. Yep. Oh, come on! Tony sends him home, but like regular spiders, Peter manages to sneak his way into where he doesn't belong. Tony finds him aboard the ship and finally dubs Peter an official member of the Avengers. Kid, you're an Avenger now. Just look how proud he is. You just know he's going to take his role seriously, and he totally does. Until, well, Okay, let's not talk about that just yet. Sorry. We still haven't recovered. Number 7. Saving Liz and Friends in Washington – Spider-Man Homecoming This is Spider-Man's first real high-stakes save. All his friends and his crush are trapped in the Washington Monument's elevator with a detonated Chitauri core, and the time left to save them is running out. Estimating 10 minutes before catastrophic failure. So naturally, Peter scales the side of the building looking for a way in. To make matters worse, there is a police helicopter threatening to open fire on him. As if they don't live in a world filled with superheroes? Regardless, Peter uses the helicopter to his advantage and manages to rescue his friends just as the elevator plummets. He brings everyone back to safety and saves Liz a second time, before choking at the last second in true Peter Parker fashion. This is your chance, Peter. Kiss her. <gasps> we wouldn't want it any other way. Number 6. Saving the Vulture – Spider-Man Homecoming 
it's not exactly a hot take that the Vulture is a pretty nasty guy. And it's also not a hot take that Spider-Man isn't. Still, this scene proves just how deserving Peter is of being a hero. After Adrian Toomes threatens his life and the life of everyone he loves, And don't you ever, ever interfere with my business again. Because if you do, I'll kill you and everybody you love. Oh, and drops an entire building on him, Peter still saves him from the fire. There are several other heroes who would have likely just let him meet his fitting end. But Peter's humanity is what sets him apart. Time to go home, Pete. I'm trying to save you! In spite of him being 16, or maybe because he's 16. Either way, the act of saving tombs is pretty remarkable. Peter, time and time again, proves himself as not only physically strong, but emotionally resilient as well. Number 5. Stealing Cap's Shield Captain America Civil War Under Ruse! It's undeniable how cool this looks. Can we get Cap swinging on Spider Man's web next? The airport scene as a whole is incredible, but especially for Spider-Man because it's his first time meeting all the Avengers. Cap, Captain, big fan of Spider-Man. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just hey, everyone, good job. Granted, the circumstances are not ideal. He's fighting half of them, but he just seems excited to be there. He succeeds in holding his own against Captain America considerably well, and they get a small bonding moment over their NYC roots. You got hard, kid. Where are you from? Queens? Brooklyn. In fact, Spidey holds his own against a number of the Avengers here. Which isn't necessarily surprising considering he's THE Spider-Man, but it is pretty impressive. Especially when it comes to fighting heroes like Wanda. This is the first time we get to see what MCU Spidey can really do. Number 4. Fighting Thanos – Avengers Infinity War we're not calling Spidey weak, like at all, but it is kind of endearing imagining 16-year-old Peter Parker underneath the suit single-handedly going up against a beefy, eight-foot-something genocidal warlord with the power to throw a whole moon like a football. Magic! More magic! Magic with a kick! Spider-Man puts up a decent fight, though, and gets his trademark one-liners in. So, although it's short-lived, this moment earned its spot on our list. It's definitely one of those, oh no, Spidey moments when Thanos catches Peter like a, well, like an insect, and slams him on the ground. Imagine with a insect. We certainly admire the bravery, however, and we'll see this gusto again in Endgame when Peter gets to carry the Infinity Gauntlet, with some help along the way. Hang on, I got you, kid. Oh my God! Number 3. Grieving Tony – Spider-Man Far From Home I'm not Iron Man From the beginning of the movie, it's clear that Peter is holding on to grief with regards to Tony's death. And this is the scene where things finally come to a head. Everywhere I go, I see his face. And the whole world is asking who's going to be the next Iron Man. I don't, I don't know if that's me happy. I'm not Iron Man. Peter saw Tony die. This is the MCU's Uncle Ben moment, except now everyone's looking to him to fill Iron Man's shoes, including Iron Man. For the next Tony Stark, I trust you. Say Edith. Happy says all the right things here, and Peter comes to terms with the fact that there is no replacing Tony, but he can definitely still be the hero everyone needs. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. He certainly graduated from just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Your friendly continental Spider-Man, anyone? Number 2. Turning to Dust – Avengers Infinity War This is the first time of several that Tom Holland would make us ugly cry in the middle of the theater. A good chunk of our favorite characters in Wakanda have already been dusted, and then we cut to Titan, where nearly every character seems to go one by one. Something's happening. We think it's finally over. Who else could possibly die? And then Peter speaks up. 
we weren't sure if that was Tony's sense of dread we were feeling or our own. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please. Please, I don't want to go. Peter's reaction is so authentic to that of any teenager in the face of death. He doesn't want to go. It hurts even more when you remember this line from Homecoming. And if you die, I feel like that's on me. Every time, man. Every time. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Finally getting that hug. Avengers Endgame. He wasn't just opening the door for you this time, kid. What are you doing? <sighs> Confessing to MJ. Spider-Man Far From Home. Feelings are hard anyway. MJ, I... I'm Spider-Man. What? That's what you were going to say, that you're Spider-Man. No. I'm not Spider-Man. Introducing the Peter Tingle. Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, that is so much better than Spidey Sense. I thought that you could sense that with your Peter Tingle. Please do not start calling it my Peter Tingle. Recruited by Stark. Captain America Civil War. With great power comes great responsibility. Or something like that. What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? It's about time we met. You've been getting my emails, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, trapped under a building, Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the moment that Peter comes to realize the suit isn't what makes the hero. It's something Tony actually tells him earlier in the movie when he takes his shiny new suit from him. But of course, Peter needs to learn this for himself. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it, okay? This scene pays homage to the legendary comic book issue, The Amazing Spider-Man number 33, which features Spider-Man trapped beneath tons of iron in a flooding lab. That thing hasn't even touched me yet! True. Then again, wasn't really trying to. He musters up the strength to lift the iron off of himself, which is the moment we see replicated here. We also can't ignore the absolutely insane performance on Tom Holland's part. He wonderfully captures the fear and panic, as well as the strength in realizing that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, even in a onesie. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.